Samity Samtastic here with a bit of a tutorial for using fraps. Uh, I recently got a comment on my video when I was having an issue with the audio syncing. Uh, somebody was wondering how to cut down the file sizes of their fraps movies. So uh, as you can see here, this one's four minutes at 3.95 gigabytes. This one's five minutes and seven seconds at 3.95 gigabytes. This one's you know 448. This one's 312. And I think it depends on how much stuff is actually going on in the video that determines that file size or that determines the length. But the file size is consistent unless you have a shorter segment, uh, unless you cut it off manually, basically. So uh, obviously that all in all here, it is a little over an hour. It's an hour and four minutes, and it's at 63.1 gigabytes. So good luck uploading that to YouTube. We're not going to be doing that. Today, we are going to be looking at how to cut that file size down by using Windows Media Player, or sorry, Windows Live Movie Maker, which comes as a free tool with Windows. Thank you, Microsoft. And you may notice this one, the, the files get automatically named for the application you're using. I think you can adjust the schemes for it. But uh, I renamed this one because I've recorded a uh, part of this video and then I knew I was going to come back to do more and I had forgotten my introduction so I um, I just did the introduction and then once I did that I located the file and put, just renamed it so it would be A at the beginning of it there so we're just going to drag and drop all of those I did control A to select all and I'm just going to drag and drop and it's going to take a little bit of time for these to load into Windows Media Player um, but that's that's pretty normal uh, with the more compressed much more compressed video files from my webcam application it actually takes much longer to bring in the video so you can see the screenshot there it is Minecraft it was a video that I made of Minecraft and um, I'm just gonna go ahead and show how I do the uh, the editing for my videos here so we're gonna see if that loaded up we're getting zero audio from that right now there we go. Simity Samtastic back here. So that's all done. We got the hour and four minutes on there. And so the first thing that I like to do when I have a new video, you may notice that it's pretty choppy there. And it's it's kind of going to be Sam that Sam way because it's got to read so much information from those videos to run them. But it, all of that information can be compressed into a smaller file, a more efficient file. Uh, the reason that Fraps does that is because they, uh, they want to take as little time processing that video and that's why it's such a good idea to use a second hard drive as you can see I've got the aptly named Video Vault is basically dedicated to having my um, my preps movie stream to it so what I like to do is go to the animations and uh, choose this blur through black to just set at the beginning and on top of that click on edit and go to fast fade in on the audio and you can hear the hear and see the difference simity sam tap it's just a smoother transition and then since this is actually a separate segment uh it doesn't connect perfectly to the next bit so we're going to set up another transition on there uh so under animations you go down to that again but instead of 1.5 seconds we're just going to set that to 0.25 seconds and uh just just so that it's a quick little blip just like that and um, I don't think there's much of a need right there to do the audio fade in. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. We'll do the, we'll set this to fade out fast. The slow is much too slow, and we'll set this to fade in fast, and we'll listen to how that sounds. At least it's built, um, to break the chronology. I forgot to do this part. So, enjoy! So that was the fade out there it was not good at all, but the fade in on the next part was good. So we're going to cut that fade out. And then um, we need to find where it goes from the first section to the second. And it was about, you can look for, look at that tiny little chunk of video right there. It's not the same size as the, it's these other bits. So that's going to be where it transitions to the new section. I'm here now in the house. We're back. We're back. So uh, you can tell that we're, we are going to do... Uh, when I listed this before, it is good for an audio fade out, and then we can have that fast fade in here. And for the animation, because it's a little bit longer of a transition, we can set that to, uh, we could do like a full second on that, and that should be good. And you don't want to apply to all, or it'll do it to all the segments in the video. I'm here now in the house. And so that's good, we can see that entire transition. So, uh... I'm gonna go my... See, that's smooth. That's good right there. 
And if you're hearing that talking in the background, it's because Lucian is actually standing next to me watching me do this right now. So uh, it's just the time that I made for it. So I'm, I'm trying to quietly discourage him from speaking on the video. <laughs> but uh, he's engaged. Um, at the end of this, right here, um, at the end of the videos, I don't really like to have uh, a fade out on it. Just I could, in a lot of cases, I don't give myself YouTubers, enough time thanks for, for it. watching. Bye, inter bye, YouTubers. Thanks for watching. Have a good night. Have a good night. There's not really a trans out tra transition out animation um, option, I don't think. But there's not really much of a risk because YouTube sort of does its own fade out transitions there, and the audio cutting off doesn't, it's not really like a big shock. It doesn't ruin anything because the video's over. Uh, so now, once you've got that all set up, which is all good and happy and all that jazz, then you can go to save the movie and you can change custom settings. As you can see, I've got a couple set up for my own. And that one was for, uh, I don't remember exactly what that was for, but that's the normal old school television aspect ratio. The 4.3, that may have been uh, when I was trying to work with videos from, might have been my old webcam. Um, and then the HD, that's a 720p, that's what I use with the new webcam because it does 720p recording. And then the 1080p is what I do for the Fraps desktop recording. So uh, to take a look at those on the custom settings, I have them all you know named for convenience there. So I've got 1920 by 1080 on the pixels, and I just picked that bit rate. Um, and I think 24 frames per second is a hard cap for the YouTube uh, Flash videos right now. And I just picked uh, like, a, like a decent 192 kvps, 96 kilohertz. And you can just sort of toy with that to find what you're comfortable with. But I mean, it doesn't really change the video a whole lot by raising it to a much higher quality audio. Um, but it's unnecessary, I think, to have anything above 192. But then again, I'm no audiophile. So then on the on the 720p, the HD, the 720, 1280 by 720, it's actually got a little bit higher of a bit rate. Um, I don't know why that is. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that down because I don't think that's really necessary. And it's going to be, actually, it could probably be even less than that and still maintain a pretty high quality video like that. So then it's a much smaller... Uh, size per minute. There we go. That's more like it. 67.52 megabytes per minute, so 9,000 kbps. And that's that's decent. The processing goes through on YouTube anyway. They handle their own end of it. But that's you want to just try to try to toy around with that bit rate to find a sweet spot to to get your your file size a little bit a little bit smaller so that the uploads aren't as painful. So we're gonna I'm just gonna go ahead and save that one. Yes, replace it. I can always change it back. Oh, and that's totally unnecessary. There we go. We'll save that again. Yes, replace it. And uh, then we're just going to go to Save Movie, the 1080p setting. And then we're, I think, I've got a lot of videos in here. It was Minecraft, Minecraft Knit Up. We got Episode 3, Part 1. And then Episode 3, Part 2 got messed up the last time that I was trying to do it. So... We will set this to part two and save. And it takes a really long time to process this video, uh, but I think it's definitely worth it because it takes less time to do that than it would otherwise to upload 60 gigabytes of data to YouTube. And, uh, and so that's how you do that. And uh, I hope this helped out for anybody that was having trouble with the massive file sizes that you get from Fraps. So uh, if you have any questions, feel free to post a comment, ask away, and I'll try to answer that uh, pretty quickly. I'm, I'm, I think I'm pretty good about answering comments, I'd like to think. So uh, in any case, you will see me later.